James A. Skelton was born March 19th, 1848 here in Kennesaw, the town was known as a big shanty at the time. Skelton was born in a dirt Ford railroad shanty his grandfather built on the tracks of the Western Atlantic Railroad. This away from one of the shanties, which name of the town being called Big Shanty. Skelton's father died when he was young, so he had to grow up fast. During April of 1862, when he was still just 14 years old, the family needed money, so he decided to take the train north to Cartersville in search of work. On the morning of the 12th, he got on the train pulled by the locomotive general. He noticed strangers standing around the train. But after he sat down, he felt a kind of fun of him being unwatched. He looked out the window and saw the locomotive boxcars pull away. Three men came running out of the building and chased after the train. Skelton had just become a witness to the start of the great locomotive chase. During the war, Skelton joined the Confederate Army. In 1864, he was assigned as a prison guard at the infamous Andersonville Prison. The death rate among the guards was almost as high as the prisoners. Skelton later was assigned the duty of rounding up Confederate deserters. After the war, Skelton returned home to find nothing left of Big Shanty. He spent time with a crew digging up Union soldiers to be buried at the National Cemetery in Marietta. In July of 1865, he helped repair the Western Atlantic Railroad and remained a track foreman at Big Shanty until Republican Governor Rufus Bullock kicked every Democrat off the railroad line. Skelton went to work for a couple of different railroads around the Southeast, but he did return to Big Shanty in 1869 long enough to marry Mary Victoria Chalker. He returned for good in 1890, when he came back to work Western and Atlantic. Skelton retired from railroad work in 1903. He later went to live at the Old Soldier's Home in Atlanta. In 1939, he went to see his very first movie, Gone for Wind. He was one of four Confederate veterans who attended the premiere as guest of Clark Gable. Before he died on October 8, 1941, he was the last surviving witness to the Great Commotive Chase and the last surviving Civil War soldier from Cobb County. Thank you.